what kind of changes are you experiencing in uh, L&D? Um, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's put up the poll for you and pick uh, one or more options. And of course you can chat in if you don't see here uh, what you wanted to vote for. So let's leave this here for a few seconds. And uh, Anuj, you can uh, share the results when you, when you see that everyone's voted. Thank you. So right there, you can see that uh, moving to new digital platforms, uh, demand for micro learning content, uh, digitization of in-person training and the need for accessible content. Those are those seem to be the, the major drivers here. Uh, let's close the poll. Thank you. What's common in all these changes is that it affects the way you design and develop content. At Harbinger, we help hundreds of enterprises, publishers, academic institutions and nonprofits in designing and implementing their content modernization strategies. Uh, we keep receiving customer requests for proposal all the time. And when we analyze those requests, uh, we see that they fall into one of the five types of modernization requests. Classroom to virtual, you know, something that was done in a classroom and now they need to go virtual. So some of the supporting materials like the PowerPoint slide decks and so on, they need to be repurposed for that kind of delivery. Second, technology upgrade. Go from one authoring tool to another or one learning management system to another or um, flash shutdown. So we need to move to another technology. Those would be the examples of technology upgrade. Long courses to micro learning. So there's clearly this movement toward short chunks of learning bytes and taking large volumes of content and splitting it into uh, micro learning modules is another driver. Another type we have is design change, right? So in design change, we are talking about, um, you know, changing the look and feel and some sort of a makeover. And for accessibility, um, here we are talking about, uh, you know, people who have, um, you know, accessibility issues, for example, um, using browsers where you can listen and so on. So those, those, are, those are the things. So in terms of goals, <clears throat> the goal of classroom to e-learning is to convert classes into online formats quickly, consistently, and at scale. And the last part is very important because these are large volumes of content. Okay, so if it was a small boutique project, it would be a relatively straightforward issue. But here you're talking about literally thousands of hours of learning. And how do you strategize for that? In technology upgrade, you're talking about upgrading not only the content creation, but the delivery and tracking as well across tools, devices, and systems. Going from long to micro learning courses, there's two things. One is to keep it short and the other is to embed it in the flow of work. So the learning needs to be delivered at a point where it is needed most. D implementing a new look, deepening the interaction level, those could be the goals for design change and navigation as well. And from an accessibility perspective, complying with accessibility standards. So this is kind of the menu um, so every time a request comes in, we sort of look at this slide and say, okay, what kind of work is this? And usually it's a combination of, uh, you know, two or three. But what this does is it gives us a lens to, to determine what kind of strategies to use.